cool. So Ezra's, uh, let's get to know you a little bit. What was it that made you want to start streaming? So actually, I was not a streamer until a long time after I really heard about Twitch and came, became familiar with the community and the the dynamics of it, essentially. My brother was a big-time old-school RuneScape streamer. He hit partner in, like, 2015, 2016. Oh, wow. And Damn. so, yeah, but I was in college at the time, and every time I would, like, go home for a weekend or something, I would go down in the basement, and I'd see him with his PC and his <laughs> camera and all this stuff, and he'd be talking. And, and he wasn't talking to anyone he was gaming with because he was playing RuneScape. Like, there's no, like, you know. And I, didn't chat, know what yeah. to, I don't know if... I wasn't familiar with Discord at the time. I don't know if that what was a thing. What year was He this? was streaming to an this audience? This 2015, 2016. Okay. To an audience? Yes. Okay, so he had an audience of right. people watching. Yeah. That's, well, that's, he, that's so what happened when he had partnered. Yeah, he had partnered. No, sorry. I just wasn't... I thought she was talking... Come on. I thought she was <laughs> She was talking something pre-Twitch. Yeah. No, oh. so no, this was no, no, on no. Twitch. Uh, it was shortly after maybe like the Justin T... TV kind yeah, of thing. it was tough to get partnered in 2015. Like a lot. Okay, so like it's it was, hard now, yeah. but it's a lot tougher to get partnered back then. Too. Some people say different things about it. It, de it depends on what kind of a streamer you are and what you're streaming. RuneScape was a fast track to getting, you know, if you mm -hmm. were good enough. And my brother kind of had like the right idea, and he he built a really great brand and everything, and then kind of just took a step back. He he did well for a while, and then you know he went he was in co and then he went off to college. And made his schedule a little different. But, yeah, so I would come home from school and see him, you know, s streaming. And I thought it was so funny. Like, sometimes I would, like, sneak up behind me and be like, what you doing? And then I found out, oh, he is streaming on this website. Like, he finally told me. He he was a little shady about it at mm -hmm. first, you know? So I think it's weird to tell somebody, I'm playing video games for and, people on right. the internet. Nobody especially realizes too, yeah. how bizarre streaming actually is until they explain what it is to someone else. Yeah, and then they're like, oh my family. gosh, what do I do with my life? What am I it's doing? It's like you're an MC, <laughs> MC yeah. for like the Oscars. Kind of. You know what I mean? More like, or less. Yeah, you're, you're, I, you're, yeah. you're presenting the, the other products. Yeah. Sure. Or, I mean, your own show, people. your own host, yeah, your yeah. own... Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of angles you could you could mm. sell it, but which yeah. is why streaming is kind of like a growing, it's a booming thing because it's a it is a, it's always it, changing. It injects too. itself into a media right. uh, kind of seamlessly. Right. You know, it's kind yeah. of like Elvira. Do you remember Elvira, the Mistress of Darkness? Yeah, I know. That She's exactly. still relevant, actually. She yeah. has a pretty good Instagram account. So she, oh, really? what, <laughs> yeah. she what she did was basically dinner in a movie for horror movies in the '80s, mm -hmm. where she would like present a movie, and that's kind of what we're doing. We're kind of emceeing like dinner and a movie for like a video game essentially with our own twist yeah mm -hmm. um yeah definitely. we're all like elvira's yeah, yeah. but yeah. i thought yeah. like you know the if he can do it i mean yeah. my brother and i have like our you know our brother sister rivalry but mm -hmm. I, so i'm like you know if he can do this why can't i but i didn't really come to that i idea until maybe 2018 uh i tried a gta 5 stream gave it a month thought all you had to do to stream and be good at it was hit go live because back in 2015, 2016, that essentially was all you really had to do. And then people would kind of find you because there weren't that many people on the platform at mm -hmm. the time. It's not as saturated as it, is, as it is now. So I gave up after a month. I rage quit, right? Uh, well, so actually, maybe this was 27, early 2018, right? The game or lack of viewers? Uh, just, I was... I just didn't get it. I didn't know, like, okay, I'm streaming. There's no one watching me. There's no one chatting. Oh. You know, this isn't what my brother was doing. Like, like, this is, you know, year, yeah. and mm -hmm. I, the only taste of Twitch I had was my brother's success. So I thought, you know, if he could do it, anyone can. And this was also thinking, like, two years after the fact. Mm -hmm. So I didn't realize all these changes that had been occurring. And when I was in between jobs, I thought, oh, Remember that website my brother was on? <laughs> I'll just do this. Let's just give that yeah. a shot. And so I gave it a shot for a month. And I'm like, oh, I, I not even like I couldn't even hit affiliate because yeah. all I was doing was go live, go live, go live. Not tweeting. I didn't have a Twitter account. I didn't know what I was doing. So, so then later was, that year, yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. Later that year, I was like, all right, you know, I'm a literally, I'm in a, I'm a business student. Like I go to school. I'm I'm still working on my bachelor's part time and all that. But I was like, I'm a business student. Like. Let's be real. There's, there's, there's gonna be, a, there's, there's work involved to this, like anything. And if I want to be serious about it, you know, I, I have. This is like a self-starting kind of thing. So, you know, November, I kind of just buckled down and I 
started gaming. I was actually a PS4 streamer. I streamed directly off console. That was oh, it. Gross. I listen. <laughs> uh, Monster Hunter streamer. Bro. No, we're not Bro. even gonna go there. Sorry, but <laughs> but no, I would just stream directly through my console, and then I got a PC for Christmas uh, that the a year later. And uh, I've been a PC streamer ever since. And it's the way to I, go, honestly. Master Race. Oh yeah. So we <laughs> but do. no, for real. I yeah. <clears throat> I just I, I like I still play console. Of course, my con- console is in my blood. It's mm-hmm. who I am. You know. Oh, uh, I know. I was. I grew up on Nintendo. I, my first game was Pokemon Blue. I only stream console. Yeah. I mean, you get it. So, but you know, I was a. So I I did invest in a capture card at the same time that I got the PC um, but it wasn't it was only a matter of time until I just kind of like yeah it, it makes it, it got it fell under my desk and I didn't bother picking mm-hmm. it up and now it's just kind of dusty so <laughs> yeah very cool so awesome what so what other kind of games do you like to stream like what is what is your preferred poison of choice what's bringing your audience in so yeah so I play I feel like I play a lot of shooters but sometimes a good MMO or a good like RPG will suck me in. But after my time at PAX, oh by the way, I went to PAX East. We're by the get way, to that really oh don't soon. worry, <laughs> we're, we're getting to that. Oh, we're getting into that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but after my time there, I I'm gonna rekindle my love for rhythm games a little bit. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah cause I think I think rhythm games and like vr and beat saber and all that i think there's just beat saber is huge right now yeah because beat saber is my yeah. jam right now yeah well like ddr dance dance revolution was the first game i got on playstation and when i got a ps2 a... i used to compete uh, i used I... to <laughs> i used to compete in ddr tournaments i know no joke oh gosh traveled yeah, he, and everything i think we touched on this a little he bit wore, yeah. uh, bell bottoms giant flare Did bell bottoms thing, yeah and yep. a silk shirt with a mm-hmm. fucking big gold medallion uh-huh that, that's, that was, that's why i, I love beat saber so much i think you're gonna need to email me across the book i have video evidence so don't worry it's better and it's like shitty it's like shitty camera evidence too i'll be sure to tweet it don't worry i'm implying i'm implying that ddr is no different than disco it, yeah, you're probably right. Dude, you should Dep- see It depends on what difficulty level you're on. Dude, you got to see Beat Saber. You have to see I'm going to I'm going to try and get it working really well on stream, but like you got to see so what some of these songs make you do. And it's literally like 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 just like swirling around. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. It's you insane. Have yeah. You have to, yeah. Um, yeah, I like spins. watching I just love watching people like on VR mm-hmm. like without What's I mean, <laughs> I plan on streaming Half Life Alex when it comes out. Like, I that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get a VR headset this past couple months or whatever. I've been talking about it a lot on the podcast lately because I've been kind of getting my feet wet in the VR space. You know what I mean? So, that's what I've that's what I've been doing. But anyway, rhythm games. You're all about rhythm games. Yeah, I, I well, appreciate until that. recently. Yeah. yeah, like I, it's not that I never liked them, but I stopped by. I there were. I mean, rhythm just rhythm games seem to be like a really big theme at PAX. I mean. It, I, maybe so it's just because of the fuser booth. Actually, if you cool, whip it out. What do you got? You guys oh, want shit. some swag? Oh hell yeah! All yeah. right. So obviously, <laughs> obviously, anyone listening isn't going to be able to see what I'm handing out right now. But we got some swag because I Full swag. I was kind of yeah. So the big big attraction. I should have opened these first because this is gonna. We're about Make to do noise. some ASMR, guys. Okay. Let's go. No, but uh, there's some sunglasses that are individually packaged in cellophane and are going to make some noise but that's fine COVID-19 yeah. free <laughs> excellent but Very uh good. no fuser it's a game called fuser and it is going to be launching on console i believe actually i want to say it's actually it's launching on all platforms it's not going to be out until this fall, but it was the biggest talk of PAX. It was the biggest spectacle of PAX because it was they were playing like music. Have have any of you guys ever been to Tomorrowland or seen Tomorrowland, Tomorrow the World? The movie? Like No, the, it's Disney? a festival. It's a uh, EDM. Oh, festival. oh yes, 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 I'm exactly Yeah, yeah, yeah. About. I'm sure you do. No idea. Yeah. There, we, me and me and Esther Me and S, me and share. Trip go way back. <laughs> yeah, that's how uh, like a year ago. That's how we know all of this. <laughs> but we we know each other through music. And uh, so this game it gives it the it it's just so pretty. And the way that they uh, produced their booth at the expo was really well done, well executed. Now, I will admit, the fact that they only had 10 different, so- like 10 songs on demo, um, I heard Old Town Road 
like, oh, man. so many times God. this weekend. And mm-hmm. there, it was a four-day convention. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Yeah, but no, listen. This booth was in the center of the expo hall. So you couldn't get a – you could not escape you can't from escape hearing it at least, you know, every 15 minutes. Unless you, you know, sat yourself in a booth for a while until mm-hmm. – but what I also thought was really cool was they were having real DJs come in and they so that's the guys are playing like a trailer for the game on a screen right now to see what I'm talking about. This stage that you guys are looking at right now, they literally recreated that stage. Oh wow. And turned it into a booth. I have so many videos. I'll send them to you guys and we can I can actually I'll send them to you guys for when you edit the Did YouTube. You gram them? Cool. Did yeah. You, you I didn't gram them yet because I'm gonna vlog it all. Um, but yeah, it was really dope. Really, really so dope. So did they, did you talk to any of the people there? I got to talk to some of the volunteers and okay. I kind of was just like, oh, how long have you been with the game? And they're like, I'm just kind of here. But oh, gotcha. <laughs> I was going to say like, did you ask them like, are there yeah. any more songs that release no, or I like just, anything yeah. like that? Well, oh, so actually, yeah, I did find out that the full version is going to have over a hundred songs. And these are all mixable and, that you can yes. use to mix. So, okay. yeah. So as you guys see, at the bottom of the screen, you're going to have four different tracks that are playing at once. But every track has different elements to it. So you've got percussion. You've got, you know, uh, synth, vocals. Vocal. You've got synth. Yeah. Yes. So there's blue, green, red, yellow. And as you're, uh, you know, so, yeah, you're bringing in different elements. And what's really cool is as you're mixing the music, you'll get requests from your crowd and they'll be like, so see how that shows up at the bottom right-hand corner? Play mm. from Party Rock Anthem. Play me some percussion from Bad Guy by Billie I- Oh, by the way, there's so much Billie Eilish. Oh, I if bet. If anyone's a Billie Eilish fan, yeah, I'm, get this I'm uh, perfectly on board. Yes. Uh, there's some, like, but there's some rap, hip-hop, pop, old-school pop, rock. It's oh, just such yeah. a good game. They there's, got All-Star? They've got all, All-Star by Smash Mouth is in the demo. Yeah. And it's pretty... It, it was. I, I mixed that. I mixed a lot of that. I'm such was, a music yeah. aficionado, but I'm such such a not coordinated human being. <laughs> but this is what will help. So you can practice, I'm actually, Felix. You can get so better at this. So here's the thing. I mm. come from a DJ background, so when I walked by this booth for the first time, I was like just salivating like literally Mm -hmm. just i drooled and i had to i walked up to someone and i was like i just wanted to let you know that this game is really cool and so i walked up to the booth day one and towards the end of the expo i actually was able to get in line and not wait that long to try the game myself and uh when you tried the game they gave me a snapback they gave me a t-shirt and uh they were handing out sunglasses that's what i just handed you guys Mm -hmm. And I was really impressed. But there were also some other games with a similar vibe. Like, um, there's... Have you guys heard of the Avicii game? No, I haven't heard that. So Avicii Avicii actually has a video. So Avicii, before he unfortunately passed away, was actually working on making a rhythm video game. Oh, wow. And when someone discovered that, a developer was like, we got to finish it. I mean, Avicii was so fucking young when he died. He was. It was such a tragedy. It really was. And he was a pioneer for the electronic music scene. So he has his own game called Invector. I did get to talk to a developer from that game. Uh, I got a poster and I got to try the game while a developer was like over my shoulder, which is literally my favorite way to try a game. Oh, I was so grateful for that experience. But yeah, so basically you're a rocket ship. It's kind of like Amplitude. Yeah, exactly. But it's like Amplitude with Beat Saber. So what you're doing is you're you're a rocket ship traveling through this like portal and sometimes the notes are going to be on the walls and you're going to have to you know steer your ship to the rhythm so it's not necessary and there's some buttons you have to press in time but i was really impressed by this game and my mind was kind of blown because i actually was like upset that i had no idea that it existed because this was at PAX or no? Yeah, it was. They oh, had yeah. um, the developer for this game had a bunch of other games on demo, and I got to try this one particularly. That was the only one. This I looks was, dope. Yeah. There's not just yeah, the triangle the mechanic. Really There's cool. other things you can like yeah. have to interact with as yeah, well. Yeah, as, you fly as soon through. as I was done, I looked over at the developer. I was like, "Please tell me you're doing this in <laughs> VR. Please, please." He's like, "Oh, I never thought about that." I was like, "Oh, I have planted the seed. Yes." <laughs> yeah, it looks dope. Honestly, it looks. Oh, it's available now. It is available. No, it's been out for uh, since December oh. of last year. Oh, that's so cool. That's it's good on Steam. It's good they're keeping his legacy alive, you know? No, that's what I mean. Like, he really – people don't actually realize, like, the magnitude of, like, what the impact this guy left, you know. I mean, he 
just imagine what he could have accomplished. If he continued, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just breaks my heart, really. Yeah, it's really sad. Bummer. Well, damn. All right, so on PAX East, like, like how, was, how was the whole thing? You were there the whole weekend. If I had to rate it on a scale, I would give it like a 11 out of five. <laughs> oh, wow. It was oh, Honestly, shit. it was a great experience because here, I have been to events like TwitchCon where if you're not wearing your partner shirt, no one's going to even look at you. They don't want to talk to you. TwitchCon, I call it ClouttCon, basically. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And listen, my time at TwitchCon was great. Well, this was the one, not a TwitchCon this was no, the one this in wasn't. San Diego. That wasn't the environment. This is this no. You is went past. to San Diego for this one. I did. Yes, okay. in 2019. Because they yeah, have yeah, a lot yeah. of them now, right? They so there's only one TwitchCon in North America. They do the community uh, meetups, and then they do TwitchCon EU. It. They just started that. It's like yeah, only two it's, years it's old. It's fairly I think. newer. Yeah. yeah, but the TwitchCon EU is only two days. Um, but the one in California, it's cool. So TwitchCon, it's like you go there to meet other streamers and make friends, you know? Like, so at PAX, I was meeting up with everyone that I met at TwitchCon, right? But I, what I was really spending my time on was, like, the indie mega booth and just talking to developers. Like, it was anyone yeah, that's it's, it's tuning in focused. and is a streamer, um, and you want to, you're trying to decide which convention is a better investment in your time. I'm, I'm not bashing TwitchCon in any way, shape, or form. It's a life changing. Both are life changing experiences. Um, but I would say that I, I felt I left PAX feeling like I made use of my time. When I left TwitchCon, I was like, I literally spent the whole time just socializing, which isn't a bad thing. That's networking. Did you bring business cards? Oh, <laughs> I don't even want to. Okay, so. <laughs> in the pre-show, I was talking about how I never really give advice. I just give advice on what not to do. One of my biggest things is don't ever go to a convention without business cards. <laughs> I am a walking example of why you should never do that. But I had I ordered business cards two weeks before PAX, and they didn't arrive on time. And so I had a little bit of a nervous breakdown when I was, like, checking my you you know, shipping confirma- confirmation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they didn't show up. I'm not going to say the name of the company that I ordered them from because we're going to be able to remedy the situation and whatever. But so here's the so here's the little like upside to forgetting business cards is when you're walking around day one of a convention and a developer comes up to you and is like, do you have any cards? I'd be like, oh, I already ran out of the ones that I brought today. <laughs> you know? And they're like, oh, shit. Oh, smart. Oh, shit. Oh, she's like, a, you know. That's, probably, that's a good And also, good on the topic pivot. of business cards, I also had a lot of streamers who, like, knew who I was from Twitter. I didn't know who they existed. They would just run up to me and be like, you want my card? Here you go. Don't ever give someone your business card until you're asked to do so. I or, know. Or at least ask them for their card first, you know? Check up dialogue have, first. Yeah, have a conversation. Right. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. at least give me some kind of context so that when I look at your card, I can be like, oh, yeah. Because guess what? When I look at your card, I'm gonna be like, oh, that's that guy that literally shoved it in my hand before I even got to shake it. So, mm-hmm. like, shake it. Yeah, his. you're going to remember that. Yeah. Over, so like, that was a bigger impression than, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Anywho, were there any other questions that came in through the pre-show? Yeah, I'm about to actually just read one. Yeah. Uh, from D-Rod in the chat said, tell us about your experience with devs over at Focus. Oh. So who's Focus and what do they do? Focus Home Interactive is kind of like the Hubble for a few other little indie-ish developers. I wouldn't consider some of these developers indie at all, though. Um, so New Life Interactive, New Life Entertainment, I'm sorry. Uh, they were a really impressive group to hang out with. They were featuring Insurgency Sandstorm, which has been out on PC for a little while. I actually streamed it last night and gave away a game. You were, wait, <laughs> Neo and I literally streamed this together last night. We sure did. And I already forgot about it. <laughs> no, I, um, we had a lot of fun, actually. He, I told him to go through the tutorial before he matched up with me. And then we did some co-op, which is, so... Imagine like Rainbow Six Siege, terrorist hunt, mm-hmm. you know, and I mean, you never want to solo that, right? But oh, no. and but also the public lobbies in that are so toxic, you'll just get team killed as soon as you spawn in. <laughs> uh, so you're usually spawning into the game by yourself and getting wrecked within five seconds. But if you're trying to get better at your like tactical and you're like, this is a good game. If you're a Siege fan, if you're a CSGO fan, it's actually sold almost nine million copies on PC. And it's going to be coming out on console, PS4 and Xbox, in August, August 25th, 2020. And it is 
I'm pretty impressed by it. I got to demo it and talk to some of the devs at uh, PAX. They were seriously like, just some of the most like down to earth, like really chill people to talk to. I really enjoyed my time in their booth. I just felt myself like gravitating back to it. Like anytime I would like leave their booth, I found myself going back to it. <laughs> um, and also under the Focus Home Interactive, they were featuring a game called Hard Space Shipbreaker. Oh well, wait, hang hang on a second. I got some questions about this game. Oh okay. Oh, right. ask me anything, please. All right. So so on this game, it's it does see it seems like a. It's very it is it is very tactical in nature, but like how do how do games play out? Like you know what I mean? Like like what do you, what are your objectives in the game? Okay, is it, so is it, it depends like, what mode, because yeah. there is a PvP, but there is also like for anyone that wants to do PvE, mm -hmm. that's what co op is for. Um, but in uh, so there's there's not a whole lot of lore. I was told there's a campaign mode, but okay. I haven't explored that yet. Is that gonna like are they gonna involve a story? Yeah, like kind of like Call yeah. of Duty. Is does. this in early access? This is not early access. Okay. Like I said, it's sold 9 million copies. Okay, it's, okay. it's $30 on Steam. Um, but if you want to... Can That's I self-plug? Because yeah, if you turn tune into my stream, I'm, I have a couple extra game codes to give away. You're so. here to self-plug. Did she just plug ask us if oh, you wait. know, self <laughs> That's li right. You're literally <laughs> our guest oh, on yeah. the show. We invited her on the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> please, self-plug. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. But no, I we did stream it last night, and mm -hmm. we gave a code away to... The same person that asked the question that oh. you, I just answered. Yeah. Congratulations to that Congratulations, guy. Congratulations, yeah. D-Rod. Congrats on the win. Um, yeah, yeah, like when we were playing it, I noticed it did have like a – it has like a battlefield feel. Yes. A oh, little bit. Yes. Um, yes. It's all – like like a lot of the ways it works is is you're trying to push on points, capture a point. Like I know, Felix, you're very familiar with like the battlefield game types. But you stuff. do understand why I play battlefield games. Mm, for the history. For the war simulation. Right. This this but, is definitely a war yeah. simulation kind also of game. Also, big yeah. lobbies like you're. It's twelve v twelve, fourteen v fourteen. It's not six v six. It's not four v four. It's not none you, you, of that. You have to understand: the more I'm dying, the better the game. <laughs> so then you're gonna love this. Because you die, you die a lot. There you are so many things <laughs> that I want to say, but, but I'm Felix, just holding myself back from this tangent. We're not gonna go. Down we're not going to that tangent. So no. Felix, instead of like a ticket system that like Battlefield has, you know, like when you run out of tickets, your team loses. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have to you you die and then you have to wait to spawn back in with your team. Well, until they capture the until next they point. capture the yeah. next point. Yeah. It's not exactly the same. No, it's you not. Can, you can kind of come in just from like space war. whenever you want. No, it's true. But just it's like war was. You have to just you like fight war. in like waves. Essentially. Spawn back in. But you're constantly mm -hmm. it's kind of it's constantly bit. like a push and pull with the other team. You're trying to push on points and defend the points that you capture. Yeah. And hold them. But like okay. look at the graph. Like so the guys have the. the it is pretty looking. Isn't it pretty? It's a really nice looking game. And their booth was really pretty too. Yeah. I just really. Like I it's just, got a I really like, liked like a realism almost like Tarkov, but it's got a polish that Tarkov does. Yeah. You can really oh, tell. exactly. Dude. A lot of people mentioned a, uh, when I streamed it yesterday. A lot of people mentioned Tarkov. Is this yeah. Tarkov? This is not Tarkov. No, <laughs> this is no not I'm Tarkov. saying that's what people yeah, were saying. Yeah. But, but it's realistic it's Tarkov? like Tarkov. It's realistic like it. <laughs> Good. Yeah, but you can at least see your teammates' name before you friendly fire at them. <laughs> this you can't. is true. You can. This is true. I don't think you can in Tarkov. You cannot. No, you cannot. cannot see names in Tarkov. We, uh, Neo and I learned that the but hard way as well. <laughs> the game gets like, it goes into the, like, the whole like quick eject of your magazine system. Like in Tarkov, you can do that. If you like double tap the reload key, instead of But is that how this works? Yes. Oh, same so, so you can quickly eject the mag and you'll lose the extra bullets that you were carrying. Or you can do a slow reload and keep your bullets. <laughs> lose. Dude, yeah. I would lose all my bullets. Because you're like, oh, you I'm always fuck, one reload. shot, reload, <laughs> one yeah, shot, reload. So that's reload. where the battlefield the element comes in, though, because you got to go find that supply crate, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you got to hope to God that one of your people on your team has that ability to spawn one. You classes know? you can pick. You yeah, can pick different lot, styles. But there's also player. a lot more classes than Battlefield has. There's a uh, oh, lot yeah, of yeah. classes. It, even Fallout, which is more of an arcade experience, I get angry that the reload happens. <laughs> like, why oh, the reload. Fuck am I actually, reloading? reload is literally my least favorite part of the game because <laughs> it screws me every time. <laughs> oh, of course. All right. Next game you want to talk about. What, what, yes. what else you got there? Oh, I was going to go into booth. Hard Space. Hard mm -hmm. Space Shipbreaker. You typed in I Harry like Styles. Space. Are you saying? <laughs> I thought you were saying shit breaker. Yeah, <laughs> shit breaker. breaker. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, ship, now, ship breaker. This so, looks like a trip zero game. This is game. definitely this, a trip zero. God, game. there's lots of space. I texted I mm -hmm. or like discorded Neo as soon as I demoed it. I was like, I just found a new game for trip, but I'm gonna <laughs> wait for like until you know this. So this game blew my mind. I actually. 
They wow. really, really treated me like a queen when I walked. You, you guys, you guys, are you guys okay? Hard space. They're conjured. literally like hard, rocking. Hard space. Well, he's, he's, they're he's like got, rocking. You got hard space. <laughs> Knowing how much Trip loves space, hard it's space like no conjures up guy. so much visually. Oh yeah, I'm hard yeah. right now. <laughs> dude, look, yeah. dude, look what he's okay. look what he's doing. So okay. listen, wait, thousand percent. We gotta explain yeah. what we're seeing here. We gotta explain what we're right. seeing. Right. Okay. So yeah. so what I, what kind of a game is this? That's the thing. I can't tell. I don't know. It's its own. It's, it's its cool. own thing. It's a looter, basically. Kind of like prey. Is it a looter? Okay. Kind look. Of? It's, it, he's what got he's got space cutters. Fuck? Okay, he's so cutting listen, into metal. I sat down with the creative developer oh, of this game. Oh and my! He did you see that? I, uh, uh, <laughs> listen, yeah. you guys are all excited, and I'm gonna tell you everything. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, Speak. so Speak. the <laughs> creative developer was whispering in my ear as I played this game, which was a mind blowing experience. Shout out to Tom. I really appreciate. Well, wow, you had like the, like the lead like of the game like the game's like creative developer yeah, so yeah. he snuck me into this like four by four booth yeah. and we sat down on this little laptop and i oh yeah just, that's dope it was really really awesome and like he, as you're playing it you're hearing from the he person trolled me together. he actually he, he trolled me so <laughs> this ship every ship you're basically taking parts off of it and either depositing them to sell them or scrapping them or you know like saving them for later and it's uh, crafting. Maybe, maybe, lots of crafting maybe yes, like lots of crafting you can throw building, them in the furnace building your own kind of yeah. ship or fixing your own thing whatever Tom did a really great oh, job shit. of explaining the controls to me there's a lot of controls but the nice thing about this game is it's a very the controls are all visual so you'll be able to see exactly what control you need to use at what time because it's all on the screen um, but basically you're cutting off parts of the ship and then, yeah, he had like, this like laser yeah. cutter that could be like oriented in different yeah. directions. Working and like you a have space loading, whatever though. kind of yes. shape you wanted. Yes. I saw like a triangle shape. I saw a square shape. Yeah, and so there's different things. view modes, but you have objectives. So it's like you need to find this particular thing. But uh, so if you go inside the ship, what what the big money item is is Ooh, the reactor. Dead. And so if you can go inside the ship oh, and the extract the reactor, the yeah. but you got to be yep, careful yep, yep. because – so this is what the developer did to me. Okay, so see how that guy just cut off the hinges on that door? Mm -hmm. And then it, the pressure, like, screwed up because there was no airlock? Right. So I saw that door when I was this doing the test crazy. run, and I turned to the developer, and I was like, can I cut that door off and go – he, he told me to go for the reactor. Yeah. So I'm like – I knew where the reactor was, and I was like, I know that if I go through that door, I can find it. So he was like, "Yeah, you could try that." He's like, "Yeah, try it." Yeah, he, he's like, "You he's can like, go for it." Yeah. He told he told me I could open the door. He didn't tell me that if I opened it, I would die. Of course, he only and answered your question. And he's sitting there like, can "Oh yeah, this? you're yes, actually you winning. You're in the positives. You're making money. You're not gonna go in debt." And then I go in. I try to yank the reactor out. The whole thing explodes. I put oh my myself God, in debt by like two thousand dollars. So I die. It was a massacre. And he's just he literally he barely even broke a smile when I turned him and I was like, I literally was so triggered. I was like, You dirty liar. You're dirt <laughs> uh, and dirty. I was like, I know we just met You dirty bitch. But oh, he loved it. Ah! He loved it. I just he knew, I wanna he knew. say things to you right now. Like I actually but no, then I turned to him and I was like, honestly, well played. That was a that was a quality troll. Like <laughs> Hard space slaps of trip zero. This looks You're, so I was good. thinking about you cool. the entire time like yeah. I the entire time I played this game and I will absolutely, you know, get Let, you in Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I will tell you all, all you want to know about let's this. Let's tear apart some shit. We should, yeah. It's space, yeah. space, but it's hard. There's no space, multiplayer but like, to it crafting. yet. But <laughs> yeah, there's no multiplayer yet, so we can't play it play. together. Oh, that sucks. No, but honestly, yeah, it's like, honest. it's just... Did he say it was coming? Uh, Did the, what did he tell you? What, what can you expect? Hard space is coming? I don't want, I don't, I don't want to say any, the, uh, the wrong yeah, things. Yeah, cool. we, we don't want to, cool. like, conjecture with Let's... absolutely zero. Like, oh, yeah. for sure, for sure. As, like, but I, for I could see, they do have, um, I think there What's is, like, some thing? lore to it a little bit. Um, but if you guys have any questions for me after the show, like, I can ask Tom, you know, if he if we can get some yeah, answers. Yeah, our friend Tom. Let's our friend Tom. Tom, Tom yeah, it's not get... Tom from MySpace, but it's Tom, Tom from HeartSpace. Ah! <laughs> very well done. I'm going to email him well and tell him to put that on his card. Very well done. <laughs> well, he has well, to emulate well Tom's profile picture, the kind of, like, side look at the camera, too. Oh, I'm going to become his new brand manager. Yeah, just... All right, that, so... Tom, hi, I'm Tom from HeartSpace. Just a little side <laughs> oh my God. glance. I pulled up the Steam page. It is going to be an early access for the summer of 2020. Yeah, this isn't it's even not out yet. yet. It's it. not out okay, yet. You have to play an unreleased game. Playing, Look at that. Oh, playing, my God. 
this 1,000%. So Looks what baller. was interesting, though, so the game wasn't available on demo throughout the con. It was only, like... Behind closed doors? Well, actually, it was. But then on Sunday, they had their own specific booth. And when I was driving, I drove in on Sunday, and they had, like, built, like mm-hmm. the electronic billboard out front of the convention center had hard space. So they had, like, a featured booth yeah, that yeah. specific day. So I walked over, and I shook hands with some of the other people that were over there. The, like, I'm just so blown away by everyone that came from Focus. I really am. They have yeah. a really cool team of people. And they were cool, but there was also another team of developers I really liked, but I won't touch on them un- unless we have... A question about them. Or I can I segue into it. Okay. Daedalic? Okay, yeah. Let's talk about Daedalic. Yeah, I really I really do want to give them a little credit because... What's the game? Games. Oh, Ooh. snap. There were two Ooh. games uh, that I got to get a very immersive experience with because I had the developers for both of these games um, hanging out with me while I played. The first one that I want to touch on is Iron Danger. It's not out yet. It's a point and click. It's... Every single person that was walking behind me while I was demoing it were like, oh, look, it's Diablo. It was Diablo 3. Ooh, that looks like a cool game. No. But, like, look at these graphics. Is that Diablo 3? <laughs> uh-uh. No, it's a different no, game. No, 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 no. But also, do you see that thing that sc- – okay, so you guys have it on in front of you. You see that thing that's scrolling at the bottom? It looks, like, those- a, it looks like a timeline almost. It yeah. looks like – like, see the – it almost looks like a heartbeat monitor, right? Oh yeah! Look, it's got the See, little the pulses, the little squiggly pulses. The so EKG there's one, stuff. two, three, four. Five. They, I think there's sixteen heartbeats that you get. So as your heart beats, you know, the timeline continues. But when you die, so see that little red, there's going to be a red X that shows up. See those little red Xs? When you die, you don't have to go restart or go back t- uh, to the you checkpoint know village checkpoint, yeah. any of that. You can just rewind reevaluate, oh. reassess the situation, see what you did what wrong and correct did it. That? Yeah. And what was I, the side scroll that did Prince that? of Persia. No. The one that was recent. Bra- oh, Bl- Bl- yes, that Braid? One. Braid. Braid was a couple Braid? years ago, but yeah. Braid. Braid's mm. like, it's like a, it was an indie kind of Mario ripoff, but you can go back in time. You can replay yeah. your stuff. So, but there's, there's, not other, there's no like other games right like Braid's on like everything right now. Braid's outstanding. I have Braid. Yeah, oh. but this is a this is a game. This is a unlike, really cool concept. It's re- right there. Like my mind was seriously so blown when I was done playing. I wanted to just like take the developer and like be like, "Do you realize? Yeah. what Do you realize created? what you've done? Because <laughs> no, but you you haven't only created a really cool game that I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time on. But this is a game that's gonna make people a better gamer. Like this is something that's like well, what it, the cool it, thing that it, it does is strategy, it strategy, right? Well, the cool thing that it does is about strategy. strategy is it cuts down the time where you can implement your new ideas. Because part of that is like dying, having to run back to the encounter, get to that point again, and then try your idea. Yeah. With this, you can implement and iterate your ideas immediately there's after no, having there's negative There's no question cut, of like, feedback. oh, would it have worked if I did it this way? Right. I can go, let no. me try see if right this will work. Let's you know? see if, I, if yeah. I can do it this way. Yeah, that's, exactly that's what how, I really exactly liked. exactly how Braid worked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and there were some other games they were doing. Uh, they, they were demoing, and I... Oh, so I did get to try another one. It was called Partisans. Okay, hang on. So Go ahead. this game is like a tactical stealth game. It has a campaign mode, and it also has a lot of other cool elements to it. It has not launched yet. I got to try, was it alpha or beta? One of the two. But uh, So this is the other really cool thing about Daedalic is Iron Danger, I believe, was developed by... There's So there were a lot of German representatives like people who flew in from germany the developers from partisans were from russia like it's a diverse you know uh group of people and they really know what they're doing and this this developer and and in in its entirety day dalek they really they develop games that change you know everything that like they they just they bring something different and every game that I played from them or looked at from them was different. There was I would there there were no two games that I would look at and be like, oh yeah, the graphics look exactly like that or right. oh, the gameplay that, is similar right. or whatever. Like, oh yeah. obviously the same person made you know, mm-hmm. but it was it's just I love the diversity between the staff, the games, everything. Looks like- Dalek is uh I I I can't talk about Russian them enough. Military you sound very impressed about, I really about their, am. their catalog no, I really of games. Am. I well, really it's, am. It's, and it's just a, their catalog of people and everything. Yeah. It's a, it's a good point to bring up because in a lot of the games we're used to, or like the console 
release cycles, the game release cycles. It's like, oh, here's this year's action adventure game where a, where a character has a bunch of abilities you learn over time and get stronger. Here's an RPG that we need to play. We're exploring a magical kingdom. Here's a new battle royale. We're just in this like this loop of yeah. like different skins over the same concept. And yeah. this is like literally just a sample from what you're yeah. saying, fresh experiences from the fresh. ground up. Yes. And speaking of fresh experiences, and you said something about battle royales, mm-hmm. we're going to gravitate away from Daedalic. Sounds but- good. I'm ready. I was I one of the greatest things about walking through the indie mega booth at PAX is just walking around and getting handed free game keys, you know? <laughs> yeah. So there was so as soon as I got home from PAX, I obviously redeemed like all of them. And there was one as you game do. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah, free shit. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> Love free um, shit. There was one game that I came across that I, I remember seeing it and I made it a point to like remember and save that card and play it. It was called, oh my goodness, it's, oh, it just escaped me. But so once it comes back to me, I'll, I'll say the name mm-hmm. of it. But imagine Sea of Thieves. Okay. Battle Royale. Pirate ship battle royales. Pirate like battle royales. You're, okay. you're driving okay. your ship. Yeah, you got to yeah. go down. You got to take, you got to go find Cannonballs, you gotta you gotta put them on. Like so, basically, there's an eye. What's the I'm game? Gonna, What's the name? I'm of gonna the game? I'm gonna I'm gonna say <laughs> right now. Don't you worry. <laughs> the name of the game. It's called Blazing Sails. I like it. That's a cool concept. Really, I just the name of it is pretty cool. Yeah. So Blazing Sails is is an alpha. So you have to like get in their Discord or something oh my God, to doing get Fortnite the code. <laughs> it's Fortnite level. No, it's 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 Sea of Thieves level graphics. Slash Fortnite. A lot of people have been. Ta- I was I was scrolling through. So it's from Iceberg Interactive. I was scrolling through their Discord. It looks like people in other countries are having some problems with the servers, but I had no issues whatsoever. I played one game and everyone started yelling at me for being such a noob. So <laughs> I, I, as, I as you do. <laughs> but it's literally Sea of Thieves Battle Royale. I like the ship combat. I'm seeing it's ship combat. Yeah, and so you're essentially like floating around the open seas and there's a map (laughs) and there's various islands Mm -hmm. and as it's it's like going to different towns on the Fortnite map. It's It's like, oh, this island is like Tilted Tower. I'm going to go here and find all this loot. And you, of course, want to hop out and get your supplies. But then so you can do close range combat or you can get on your pirate ship and sink (laughs) someone with a cannonball and if you sink a ship, the whole team's dead. You know, oh, oh. Shit. so yeah, that's what happened to well, us. That makes sense. That's like your, I guess, your only way to get between islands. So if, yes. you're, if your ship's yep. gone, then you're gone. So it's your, that's your transportation. Yeah, that's like the transportation element to it. Not surprise. Well, surprisingly, uh, a lot of sailors couldn't swim. Really, I did. Yeah. I did. I did hmm. learn read that one. That seems yeah. an unfortunate. That is uh, job. Well, to because have most people who ended yeah, up it feels kind of counter. You so, know, so they had an the actual punishment uh, type. Mm-hmm. It was called uh, transportation. You, yeah. If you got punished for transportation, you were either sent to Australia or the United States, or you were stuck on a ship. So you you might be a land person, hmm. yeah, who just got forced, <laughs> well, that forced is to be on a ship. I'm a land that person. Is. We're well, going well, to well, dock you a mile off land. the port, and we're just going to keep you there as a, that's, as a that's punishment. Why, that's why <laughs> walk, walking yeah. the plank. That's why walking the plank is terrifying. Wow, yeah. God. It's not because oh. of the sharks. Not because of the sharks. It's because Whoa. of the drowning. Whoa. I never thought of that. Because of the drowning. Because of, yeah, because they never <laughs> even tied anyone up, really. It was no. just like, you're here. They would hold you at bay with a sword, and you'd be terrified because you, once it's you jump off, you're It's the sword or the water. It's either do what I, do you, oh, man. Because you okay. swim. Well, you before swim. we get too morbid. <laughs> 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 that's just the kind of kind of segues we have around here mm-hmm. uh, i'll always take the show that's like that the way. third time yeah. i've almost made a conversation go that way huh? <laughs> you're good <laughs> felix felix is a repository of little nuggets <laughs> like that of dumb shit yeah. <laughs> world historical crap historical context in a modern age oh my gosh i keep looking at like our visual camera and just the fact that i'm just it's so, so tiny. very tiny. You're so very little. tiny compared to the rest oh, no. of us. Oh. So let me ask you a non-gaming related question. Okay. This is from Pocket951. Okay. I know what, Pocket. What was the best food you had in Boston while attending? Ooh, fantastic question. In That's Boston. a great question. In Boston. Okay. So Not, I. No, con food. Who in cares? Boston. So everyone's going to expect me to say, oh, I ate all this seafood. I didn't eat a bite of seafood while I was there. Damn, Are you allergic shame. to seafood? No. 
Right. Well, I'm my mom's allergic to shellfish, and apparently it's genetic, and but like not until I hit my 30s, so we don't know yet. But we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find it's out. Fast approaching. Get it all in one. No, I can. literally just eat it to like become immune. But anywho, I <laughs> was staying in like like the Boston University area because that's the area I'm the most familiar, familiar with. Familiar with BU. Yeah, one of my best friends went to college there, and I it's visited her a few times. Yeah, but so that's where we stayed, and it's like a Japanese neighborhood and so right across this like i was surrounded by like i could get udon anywhere i wanted hell yeah there was a japanese market across the street hell yeah so i got some of the best udon the best ramen the best yeah. like everything and i mean obviously mm. philly has chinatown and yeah we got um we did not do sushi oh. while we were there i was tempted at once but my last day there i did japanese hot pot for the first time in my life oh nice mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah never had that. I'm not the same person anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese food is so good. It really is. I love just it so much. Just anything, like just anything, like foreign to me. I just, I, I like immerse, immerse, Im, um, immerse. To I immerse you. yourself in. Immersing the, is that yeah. a verb? Yeah, I like to, I like to do, the, uh, I like be, to try. Be immersed. You want to, yeah. Like ah, to you yes. like to immerse yourself. <laughs> yeah, or that. Yeah. <laughs> Grammar lessons. Uh, you get everything are on this hard. podcast. English is hard, okay. That's all right. You're good. <laughs> you get uh, it all. I'm a huge fan of the uh, the little little bear fit grams that are filled with chocolate. You guys ever had those? No. I forgot what they're called. They're little Japanese candies. Is it like a little, yeah. Oh, I, I, oh, I bought so like much that. Pocky. Oh, I, I got, yeah. oh my gosh. That's yeah. like, I have so much Pocky. I might have some in my car if you that's guys want to That's the chocolate sticks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, like the, it's the bread that's covered in chocolate. Yeah, or different flavored kind of things. Love the hell out of it. I've never seen this before. No. These guys. Nope. I love these guys. They did. They probably sold a lot of those at they're, this market. Those room. look dope. Yeah, they're filled with like chocolate. You can get them in strawberry. Or yeah. Whatever. I'd eat the hell out of that. Yeah, man. <laughs> these, <laughs> these are oh, delicious. they're like they're like Japanese Teddy Grams, you know. <laughs> but they're chocolate filled. But they're, oh, okay, yeah, I see. Chocolate I see. filled. They're, they're like foul they're Teddy Grams. I do the. I, <laughs> hey, I, I, you know what I do? <laughs> you know what I do? I'd fuck up those straw, strawberry ones. Yeah, man. Oh, they're good. I would no. I would. If they did like a cookies and cream one, it would be over. And then this is this is where where it's all over. You, you get these marshmallow filled oh, little I saw those. blueberry I things in it, me. Oh no, my god, gross, dude! You got <laughs> so you, you got me. So gross. They're delicious. Look yeah, at these if you things. want diabetes. <laughs> oh, fuck me up with diabetes. That's all the, no. Is it the juice consistency in the middle that that you're not really down with, or is it just the, is it juice or like jelly? Sugar? I don't. It's just the like sugar. Jelly. There's a lot of just filled. sugar bomb yeah. kind of thing. But I literally have a whole bag of just like random Japanese snacks that looked questionable yeah. like i have shrimp crackers they're like oh, I hate they them. look I love like those. pork I rinds I love but they're shrimp uh i'm my really, friend is uh, i grabbed everything that i technically didn't want to try so my friend's a, a huge he uh so they have in philly he used to live near above chinatown in philly and he used to go to the asian market all the time oh and yeah. you go to the asian market That's you get he, he would bring back all, all kinds of stuff and he used to bring back hot versions of the shrimp like Oh my god! Yeah, what? I would, I would, and, those up. Well, I would here's the those thing. Up no, no, they're really, really hot, and he would challenge people to have one. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <gasps> oh, <laughs> like, well, you know, like the spicy ramen challenge. Yeah. It's, so no, well, we bought say, that at the Japanese market. The, the, but we didn't the, either. <laughs> you scared. It's me. similar. What he would do at his at his condo was similar to what that people do with that chip challenge. You know, what's, chip, the, what's the chip challenge? The, there's these chips that you can buy. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, you eat one like chip, ghost pepper fuck. chips, that kind yeah. of yeah. Stuff. It's yeah. like a ghost pepper kind of challenge. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's not as hot. I, I I don't think it's as hot as a ghost pepper. Although he would be able to tell me. But like, I used to watch people at his condo like do this, and then you see their face go red and mm. you know make them sick and everything. It was great. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to do that. I want to try those chips now. Spicy hot. I have a whole but they, bag. They have like, mild just ones. Just go too. in my car when we leave, and I'll. I might actually have a bag. I don't know. <laughs> well, sounds good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll definitely try those. Mm -hmm. um, anything else packs wise you want to like wrap it up with, or or you got more to talk about? What, no. Anything um, else that one stand, thing stands I wanted to PAX? just touch on really quick was PAX had a lot of really cool charities there. That's all. Cool. I'll, okay, I should get some shout outs. Okay, so some shout outs. I'm really involved with. I've done a few fun fundraisers through Extra Life, yeah. and I really like what they do. They partner up with every children's hospital in the nation mm -hmm. and allow streamers to 
fundraise for their local mm-hmm. children's yeah, hospital. It's and Chop, we all are familiar with Chop, mm-hmm. Chop. Children's yep. Hospital of Philadelphia. I did a yeah, I did a Christmas fundraiser for them, and we raised almost three hundred bucks. That's awesome, yeah. and that's why my hair's red. Like I changed the oh, color yeah. of my hair, and then I just was like, "This is me now." Was that but, was that like a goal, like a stretch goal? It was, so yeah. yeah, they let you set up like incentives. So as you hit goals, um, but actually the incentive that they hit was uh, I did a I also did a six hour just dance stream oh, oh wow damn. so like i cosplayed amaranth for a while and oh <laughs> no i didn't cosplay as her i just you just know, dressed, like, dressed yeah. like her right. no i did not no that's what cosplaying is i didn't dress like her i just acted like her like oh, I, okay. I stole her brand for a few she, hours <laughs> she performed like her no Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to say that, that. I'm not that answer. good of a We're drawing answer. a line. Why did I say it that way? We're drawing <laughs> a line <laughs> here. Yes, <laughs> yes. That, yeah. Anywho. We didn't no, quite go that great. far. She performs a whole uh, other way. Yeah, but Extra Life does what they, they do. And then there's also um, One Up who – Basically, they open, they do like an open window for people to apply for grants, cancer patients. And so they write in and they say, hey, this is my situation. And then one up looks at all of the funds they collected that year and say, OK, who can we help and how how can we help as many people as possible? So that's one uh, another charity I look forward to streaming for him. And then lastly is Stack Up. Stack Up. Ooh, I just whacked my mic and I'm so sorry. You're going to be all right. ASMR. Um, <laughs> When I was at Stack Up, they had a really impressive booth. They were doing some like Nintendo Switch stuff. I got to demo that Nintendo like oh, oh the Ring the Fit Ring, Ring Fit, fit yeah. yeah. So I also got to try something that I hadn't tried before, and then they gave you a raffle ticket. They were giving away some cool stuff. So what Stack Up does is they supply veterans with gaming equipment because you know I I'm not a veteran myself, but I'm I came from, you know, like I, I know a lot of friends that ha- are military veterans and, you know, I'm familiar with the military culture and I, I, I really like their mission. I think video games is an escape for a lot of people and veterans have a lot to escape from. You know? oh, it's uh, uh, for many veterans, uh, video games are used as a, yes. to assuage the the problem yeah it's exactly. actual, it's actual therapy yeah, yeah. so it's what they do therapy. i really really admire what they do no, that's and fantastic. appreciate it yeah, same so yep. yeah and they have a lot of people that on their team that are like just, they just impress me so much um and i was really glad i got to stop by their booth because they had reached out to me previously about fundraising for them and putting faces to names and like seeing what they really do and in a visual form i was blown away and i want to see more people stream for them really um yeah that's dope. That's awesome. Yeah, it really was. I was really impressed. Did you see an organization called Pinups for Pitbulls? I okay. So Pinups for Pitbulls, I I go to the Philly Tattoo Convention a lot. Oh yeah. I yeah. actually know one of the like board members from that, and I so I used to work for Act Philly. I was like the the public no, the public kill shelter in Philadelphia, like mm-hmm. public shelter in yeah. Philadelphia, open intake. So uh, I've. Any, anytime I see them at a convention, I stop by and uh, well, we met they're them, a really uh, cool group of people. Tw- I think we met them, was it World 2015? Was the okay. first year we yeah. met them. Yeah, that was like we right actually, around when they we were interviewed getting them started. On, we interviewed them on the show. Um, and her I don't, name uh, starts with an M. Uh, names are I not going to come to me. We'll, <laughs> names we'll, are written we'll, down. We'll get them Name, on again. N- names yeah. are written down in a book. We should they get them defi- on again. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. really go to Wizard World in 2015? That was 2015. Oh, that was ambitious. Yeah. Wait, was that when I was a guest on the show? That was when you were a guest. You weren't even a host. Uh, and I was cosplaying as like a Star Wars. You were a Star Wars I was, I was guy. Revan. You're a cosplayer? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, my I've done a few. Blown. You were Darth <laughs> Revan. It was Darth Revan. That's yeah. right. I got Baller costume. Got Won the cosplay that. contest that year. Wow. By the way. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, that was probably before the con got big, and that's why, so. <laughs> then, because you. <laughs> Sorry. Ne- Neo, you came I on the show. I should have warned you guys that I'm kind of Sassy. a jerk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think you came on the show in 2016. So that yeah, was, after yeah. that, yeah, I started coming on as like a guest and like yeah. First, you came on as a guest a few times, and then you yep. became a member. Wow, it was great. You were a it host. Was good, it was good times. So cool, Pax East. Pax East. It's good fun. Now, do you cool. want? Do you Life do you have things you want to show us? Oh, or pull out? oh, okay. So I gave you guys the Fuser swag, right? Mm-hmm. I did have some other. You goodies. pulled out the glasses. I so. Don't... See them first more. of all i got so much like i'm literally my favorite thing is free stuff who doesn't like free stuff Love right? free oh, yeah. stuff. and the best part about going to these kinds of things is the free stuff you oh, know yeah. so i got a lot of free stuff my favorite my most sought after free stuff item was i mean oh, that bag is i'm sick. so sorry for anyone listening you guys can't see it but that's they why were, you gotta check out the yeah, youtube yeah but uh, i don't i don't want to say the wrong name but mood oh before i, I say mood doom get it 
Oh, it's backwards. Yeah, we'll but it's nude. But this is my new Trader Joe's bag, and it's a reusable <laughs> shopping bag. <laughs> nice. And oh, they were giving straight. this out. Yeah, you had to – so PAX, your badge, you had to register it and get, mm-hmm. like, XP. You could go to certain stations and, like, redeem, you know, for stuff. So they were giving these out each day. And another thing is I know you guys wanted to touch on Final Fantasy at some point. And before you do that, Ooh. you guys can wear Ooh, these cool little Final Fantasy lanyards. Damn. Oh my god! Yeah, there you go. There you go, man. Don't let Pax find out that I gave you these because I was—it was one per person. Wow. Uh, oh, the, you know what? The event's over. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> see the free <laughs> trailer. They probably were like yeah. begging people to take them yeah. on our Discord. These we, are sick. Thank they, you, sir. Apparently, they were giving out scarves. As well, no, just trip posted what? that. They had yeah, scarves. They were up scarves. Yeah. Yeah. No, so Final Fantasy actually, they were handing out a lot of posters. I do have some for you guys, but I don't remember what suitcase I packed them in. So I didn't Fair bring enough. them. <laughs> <Sorry. Fair enough. laughs> and we won't know until I unpack, which we don't. We will never know when that's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think my bag uh, from Hawaii is still packed, honestly. Are you see- that, yeah. was mon- that was a few it was, months ago. It was like, I remember it was that. like four months ago. That was yeah. a while oh ago. God. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> it's, fine. it's all shorts. Also I don't need shorts my swag right now. Bag. Oh, Boston Uprising, the Overwatch team. They oh, were yeah. at PAX. Oh, they were sick. handing out swag. I stopped that's by awesome. their bag for a free swag. I mean, I stopped by their booth for a sw- – oh, gosh. So you got – okay, so you got a free, free shit. swag bag. Free shit. And they were giving out, like, magnets, It's, a, it's a magnet of their schedule, their upcoming schedule. So that's going to just go on my fridge. The, uh, the scarves they were giving yeah, out. Yeah, I saw a lot of people. Yeah. So I w- when I was out to dinner on Sunday – at Hot Pot, cool. mm-hmm. one of the people at the table oh, was wearing that. Yeah, yeah. But I thought you had to like is this buy a it. This soundtrack? So, yeah. So then oh, this shit. developer was handing out soundtracks to one of their games. That's amazing. Yeah. He, I love yeah. Soundtracks. Neo's kind of just like, he just took my bag and is kind of going through everything. <laughs> I, you handed me these. I, <laughs> yeah, because I didn't feel like holding them anymore. I'm sorry. And I'm showing people. Okay. Oh, this is something that I thought was interesting. Geico was there. Sure. That makes sense. There's, of course, because they're Geico. Um, but... Yeah, did you know that like Geico gaming is a thing? No, I had no, no. idea. Yeah, it's a no thing. Clue. It's a thing, and I I went to the gaming booth. insurance. What do you, like, what's Ooh, the insure well, your gear, the bro? Thing. Thumbs, dude. What do yeah. you? What if your thumbs oh. break? Insure your gear. No, insure your PC. You spend a lot of money on yeah, that. Your, your graphics neck, card breaks. You pour thumbs. water on it. We all have different focuses here. Th- we have yeah. a equipment focus. I have a health and body focus here. <laughs> Geico could insure it all. <laughs> Geico sponsor us, EmergingGamer.com. <laughs> yeah. They probably would. Like, I'm focused know. on developers and them improving the work they do. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, making them Ensure not work, them 40, to work better. You know, 100 hour weeks. <laughs> yeah. With language. So what's that? Oh, is this your guy? Is this so this program? was, I found this while I was wandering. So they were giving out maps, but I really also like the paperless yeah, element because there was a cool app to show you mm-hmm. where to go. It's a sweet PC. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to start drooling. Yep. Because... <laughs> There were so many awesome PC builds. Oh, on I bet display. there were. Yeah, I have so. Many, you, I'll just send you guys all the videos so you can cool. put it on the. Did they do like people had things where they're like just spread out flat on a table or like in was, liquid and mineral oil well, and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff? Yeah, there were some. There were some builds. builds there was wild. one where it was like um, a glass screen and then uh, a connecting thing. I, I'm gonna. <laughs> There, it was a basically imagine a CPU tower without walls, just a glass covering the front of it. A glass front, and then the back so, part yeah, where so you connect your motherboard. Yeah, so the four shorter and sides will be open or to open. the air. And then there's yeah. So yeah. I was looking at that. I forget who made it. I think it was Thermal Take. Uh, yeah, Thermal Takes. It in. was probably Thermal Takes, but or Origin. I, I don't remember. But as soon covers. as I saw it, I immediately thought of my cats. Because, like, I literally, I can't tell you how many times in the past few months I've had to cut my stream, like, because my cat said so, they unplugged it. It actually happened oh, yeah. last night. So, Felix, Felix himself keeps his cats out of this room. Does not They're not allowed in the video. Yeah, 200 IQ here. right there. Yeah. <laughs> but no, when I was looking at that CPU, all I could think of was, like, my cat is going to go ham on my, yep. like, RAM. I, ah, I, that was a RAM. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> I'll tell you, a lot of people have the misfortune of having cats who eat cables, and I yep. lo- I lucked out. I, yeah, I, I do. Like that I do too. not have any cats that chew cables, but I nice. do have a cat who, in the first month of living in this place, he pissed in a box of used cables, like old cables. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were clearing off. What is happening right now? I saw him take a bottle. I was like, mm. take my bottle too. But oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was like, I'm not getting another beer. I'm sorry. Yeah, my cat pissed in a box of used cables, and ever since then, I've been paranoid about letting him in. Yeah, I would be too. Because I'm worried that. That he's going to piss on my equipment. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm always afraid of. Because when I, yeah, my stream door doesn't actually latch. 
So even uh, when I cl- like sometimes it latches and we figure it out and then it unlatches again. So sometimes I'll walk in my stream room like when I came back from PAX and I had to dust my PC. It was just like the windscreen had all the cat hair mm-hmm. in it. It's just cats, imagine, are, cats are dusty. Imagine you know? that getting they into the hair, open PC. Have, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's what you know, I'm saying. Jackson, yeah. Jackson Galaxy would say that my, I. Uh, I he, met him he, once. You know Jackson Galaxy. I met. Yeah, he yeah. came to my work and took well, a picture he, with he's me. Big in, he's can, big. I'll send you guys. He's that big so in tattoos. Well, you meet him at a tattoo thing. No, he actually came to the shelter that I, when I was working. Oh, okay. And so he he made a program called like Cat Positive. Well, the one I'm talking about is the Cat from Hell. Oh well, of course. That's the show. show I watch. Right. Oh, it's I watch amazing. a lot of that show. Yeah. The the cat from hell is about is is basically not. So it's called the cat from hell. Yeah. But it's a reality show <laughs> I can about. Guess. Wait, like, guess. Your, no, no. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Here's the premise. Here's the premise. <laughs> it's called the cat from hell, but it is about Jackson Galaxy determining what's wrong with the people. Right. Oh, yeah. Because okay. okay. it's not the cat. It's never it's the never cat. The cat. That's the same never the cat the or the dog. Yeah. Right, exactly. Right. No, and I was a foster coordinator at an animal Just shelter. Just bad owners. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I can yeah. tell you right now. Yeah. This, um, this guy. Yeah, that's but him. That's yeah, why that's Jackson, thank you. Thank you. That's yeah. why Jackson made the program that he did. He made a program where, the well, cat actually, daddy. the program was, he, was, he teaches shelters how to train the cats in their custody how to become like present themselves as more adoptable. So like say you have a cat that's been in the back of its kennel for a month. He created a program to teach people how to like train them and become more friendly like incentives with, with like food and things like that and there was a whole structured program. So the top like shelters that performed well he came and visited us and so he took a picture with me and signed an autograph. I'll send it to you so we can yeah. put it on the YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he's a really, really, really down to earth guy. And he also did some cat trapping in Philly because we have a big feral cat oh, population oh, issue here. To do it, do yeah. it humanely. Do it humanely, TNR. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'll save that topic for I watched a litter day. of cats be born behind my, my uh, apartment building. Did you vlog it? No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was taking well, the garbage out, and I was like, oh, yeah. there's like 12 kittens over there. Yeah. Aww. I know. It was really it's sad. Su- it's really sad. Jeez, I tried yes. to like be like, come here. I'll like, want a food? Want food or something? I don't know. I know. No, I actually have a video of me unleashing 15 traps of cats. Oh, just like nice. one by one. That's one of my things. Oh, my I know all the feral cats around my neighborhood. Show. Yeah. 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 Your bros. Yeah. Your bros. I know all the ones that are like. The strong ones, the tough ones, the alphas, yep, the ones the, that are chilling. The ferals yep. that are like... Mm-hmm. You'll yeah. have to meet the cats when the show's over. <laughs> the whole over. squad. I, oh, I, I so. saw the sign on your door that said, like, hey, there's two cats in here. Did mm-hmm. you see the picture in the hallway? I saw... I, I, I pointed at it, and I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing, but nobody Oh, your, your, your one Christmas? Yeah, yeah our, it's like it was Christmas originally our Christmas picture. Picture. It was. It was. That was the best, best photo ever Beautiful taken photo. of you guys, ever. <laughs> yeah, ever. no, that was amazing. I've been we, actually... We took, we took my blind cat. He's blind. He has no eyes. So we took my blind cat to like, uh, you know, the photo place at like a JC Penney. Yeah. <laughs> right. You uh, actually went that. I'm, I, I am an, an abuser of my cat because my blind cat for was the vlog. Terrified. <laughs> oh. Because he's in this brand new environment. And I'm Smells holding him. differently. Yo, you know. Yeah. I'm holding him for the photo. Oh. Is he just gripping? And on? he's yeah. digging yeah. his claws oh. into me every time the photo would snap. Oh shit! Because they took a few, oh, yeah, yeah, and it would snap, and, he can and it would just go. It. And yeah, he probably just, gets like the light like, sensitivity. Like the, yeah. yeah, I don't think he's getting light at all. I think well, he's hearing the noise and he's hating. Sometimes that, yeah, that could be. The it. sound was like oh. creeping him out. Oh, poor guy. Poor we'll bud. never do it again. But I didn't realize he went all the way to a freaking J C Penny we to, to do that though. I thought like because that was like a meme for a while, you know, like that kind of photos. It's so sad. It's now now when I look at it, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna listen to that like arms of the angels like he's fine in the back of my we we feed him on a regular basis and he's happy hey i saw he's, listen, he's long forgotten literally it. your whole living room is designed for cats yeah. and I, i'll yeah i saw it so as ribs approved <laughs> you're doxing me as we speak <laughs> no i'm just no giving one can see the inside of your house they're like, your living room. They're like some, somebody's like that 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 condo right he, there okay, that you, one's getting all the cat toys on a regular basis yeah. that must be feeling that's the one if you really want me to dox you like this guy no, well, has a okay. drawer for well, imports on. and a drawer for domestics in his fridge. <laughs> <laughs> vegetable, like the so, crisper drawers. So yeah. all the fridge watchers, that's, not, uh, that's the apartment. Not you know? using the vegetable trays properly. The crisp Who eats vegetables anymore? I'm using the crisper. You guys are, crisp my beer. Oh. You guys are making me cringe right now. <laughs> vegetables sorry. are very important. I'm sorry. Super 
Oh, duper, right. The health duper and, important. Oh. Yeah. Keto bros. Keto Geico, bros. Keiko insurance. It's health, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sure. Your rates can go down if you eat better. Wait, so we gaming. didn't even really? establish the just, fact that oh, we're making concept, Trip and yeah. I are wearing matching. Like, totally. We're, we're matching. Totally and by accident. Nobody has pointed it out yet. Oh my god, you guys are wearing matching shirts. Thank you. You don't count. You I don't did count. It. Yeah, you I don't did count. It. You're, You're reminding right. me of my season. <laughs> oh, your MLB the MLB show the season. Show. Yeah. How's that show? <laughs> Nineteen. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. So you play that on PS4? I do. I got it during the PS Plus free thing. Yeah, I got it really cheap too. So, yeah, you want to play you're online? Have, yeah, carry me things. <laughs> He's, oh, I'm not good. You should listen to the MVP. Oh, He's not going to carry Actually, we, we have a winning season. You'll be happy to know we're 28 and 18. Well, there you go, dude. There, you were worried for a go. while. Yeah, I go. was. I was losing. Yeah. <laughs> my, first, my first 18 games. 28 and 18 is a fantastic start. Well, yeah. You're on a 28 win streak right now? 28 wins. Wow. No, 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 no. I haven't no, won 28, 28 times in a row. 28 wins, 13 losses. Because you said 18 and 0. No, no, no. Out of my last 10, I think yeah. I've won. Mm, okay. I've got won it, got it, got it. seven out of the last 10. I mean, though. at that point, you're getting rehired for next season no matter what as a coach. So. I think I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> well I mean, no, you, could, good, you yeah. could probably tank it for the we'll rest see. of the year. We'll next see. Next Charlie Manuel. Yeah. 